Hello guys, QWERTY Afro here, bringing you another Firm Bus Coach Simulator video on episode 3. I, guys, I am really excited for this series, I'm really excited for this game as well. You know, it has its problems and whatnot, but I'm actually just like looking beyond that and actually looking at just the potential really, as you know from my first two videos, I'm just... And another thing that has just even more excited me now is um, I actually... Curiosity, I, I, I went on to the actual Flixbus website uh, where you could buy tickets and stuff in real life off, off their website uh, see, to see basically their route map, to, uh, to see all the lines, all the routes that they do within Germany to kind of get an idea of maybe what, what I could actually resemble in game as well. And I, I feel that this is a really good actual resource to actually um, make your game more immersive uh, so you can actually drive actual real life routes and stuff like that instead of just make, like, you can make up your own and whatnot. But I think it's cool to, because obviously we have Flixbus, an actual real life company in the game. I thought, why not simulate actual routes that they do? So I popped over to the Flixbus website, which is flixbus.com, if any of you guys want to know. Went onto the route map, uh, clicked on some of the cities and stuff. See, uh, it's really cool. You like type in a city and then it, it like has like a spider diagram network where it just it, it shoots out lines to whatever city uh, the um uh, the lines go from from the origin city that you've selected so I thought I'd actually use this now hopefully this will be a good thing to use in the series to actually ha resemble and actually simulate real actual routes I don't know if actual M Munich to Nuremberg is actually a route via Regensburg maybe someone tell me I actually haven't found that one I was just looking at uh, for like new ones that I could do but I actually might have a check on that later to see if that was actually an actual route but um, before I get into what we're actually doing in this video, which you might see in the title anyway, but shout outs go to Awesome Donkey and Game Over. That's again Awesome Donkey and Game Over. Their links and stuff will be down below. Please do show them some love. Quick note again, please do not comment down below requesting a shout out. I'm currently uh, trying to get through the current list I have and once that list is finished then I'll reopen shoutouts again and people that haven't had one already can comment and I'll put you on another list that I make in the future. Cool, that out of the way, let's get into this. Uh, I've, I searched up in Flixbus and I found, uh, because we left off in Nuremberg in the last episode and basically to make routes now I can only make routes from cities that I've already like I could I've already been to and unlocked. So I can I can start from Nuremberg, Regensburg, or Munich uh, to do any routes. So I thought we'd logically obviously start from Nuremberg because we finished off in Nuremberg. Let's just carry on from Nuremberg and see what other kind of shift we can do. So I went on the website, uh, looked at Nuremberg, saw what we could do, and I found this cool little route. Uh, that we could do. I, I wanted to first do Nuremberg to uh, to Mainz via Frankfurt and Frankfurt Airport, but I don't have Mainz and Frankfurt Airport and um, Frankfurt unlocked, so that was a bit out of the question. Uh, there was another one to Wurzburg, but that's kind of too short, and I, I want I want like a one or two stops in between, you know, like that. Uh, so I found this one. It is called Route 009, and it goes from Nuremberg to Mannheim, and it stops in between at Heilbronn and uh, Heidelberg, which is cool. So we have two uh, in-between stops that we're going to do, which I'm, I'm very, very excited about. Uh, they run, uh, I do believe this route runs Saturdays. It has like a different schedule for Saturdays, uh, Monday, uh, Thursdays and Fridays, and then Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays to Sundays. And, and then it also has also a daily one as well. So... Uh, it's a really useful website for me, like for this game. It gives you a breakdown of what stations it stops at. It gives you timings and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to use a timing today, an exact timing of when this uh, uh, service actually departs on a. I do believe it's a Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday to Sunday. There's a daily one that starts at six, but that that goes a bit too much in the night. I want to still keep it at daytime before we venture into nighttime in a in a future episode. So, if we actually go and create ourselves a new line, how exciting, uh, we can now put the root number actually as an actual root number, which is 009. Oh, do you, I think you put the zeros still in there, or should I just leave it? I'll, I'll put the zeros in there, that's what it says on the website anyway. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna type in root 009. Oh, oh, and then now, like, I'm going to build up a nice, like, uh, like a bank of roots, essentially, real roots now, every time I'm not going to see and whatever, and then look at the website and just see what routes are available to drive. 
I'm going to build up a nice little catalogue of actual real routes. And that's really exciting. That excites me a lot. I'm not going to put the express on because someone told me in the previous video that uh, in the previous videos that uh, the express just adds an X. And until I found like I find find an actual express route online or like an actual route that actually has an X in it, then I won't be using it. So let's start at Nuremberg. Uh, then it goes to Heilbronn. Then uh, shuttles over to Heidelberg. And then we go to Mannheim. There we go. So look at that. That's going to be a nice little trek for us. I'm very excited to get onto the road and actually do this. So that's that's all there. It's a 455 kilometer journey, which is good. Maybe broke down into parts. We might get to like in this episode, we might get to Heilbronn and then do the last uh, Heidelberg to kind of Mannheim kind of stint in like another video as well. Just depending on how long the videos last. If they last, if they if they if it's contained, then we'll we'll be fine. But if it's if it's a bit too long, I'll split them up into parts. Uh, so travel time is six hours nine minutes. That's very good. That's pretty much how it is in real life as well, actually. Oh, hmm. Well, in real life, it says it's three hours. So I don't know if this is like in-game time that just gets sped up a little bit. I don't know. Um, I'll give myself like four minutes checking time. I think that's fair. I gave myself before uh, uh, free. I'll give myself an extra minute. So if we save that uh, and then go to route 009, then go next. I've unlocked the new bus, by the way. So uh, we're gonna have a look. Uh, we're gonna have a drive today in the. Man's Lion Coach C, which added, adds the extra two wheels, which is cool. So a longer bus to enjoy today. Uh, realistic driving, of course. I'm going to put the date a little bit maybe in in the winter. So maybe we might turn it on d dynamic weather and then get snow maybe. So I'm going to put it in maybe 20th of November. That sounds sort of winterish, right? And the time I'm going to put as, uh, I think the service leaves at 2. It leaves at, you need to reach... You need to reach level three to unlock that. Really? Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, so I can't go to. Uh, you, have, you have to reach level three to unlock a certain time of day that you can start uh, bus driving. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do it a hour earlier then and go to one. It's supposed to leave at two fifty-five. We're gonna just do it. At, oh, okay. I'll just do one a what, quarter to two then, uh, if, if that's fine. So let's just start that up. That's a bit odd. Like you have to unlock to like play in a certain like, like okay, <laughs> like as I said in the previous video, we got to level two and we got the bus and that's pretty much it. But now you actually have to unlock like certain time periods of the day that you have to actually play. Uh, okay, kind of like a bit lackluster there with the kind of uh, <laughs> with the. Uh, with the amount of like content that you unlock when you level up, this level up system doesn't really feel as like say good as um, Euro Trucks, where you can unlock skills and stuff like that of like different freight and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like with this game, there's still not enough really in the game to kind of build up that kind of skill system that Euro Truck or American Truck has. Uh, as what what there's no different type. There's no different types of coaches. There's only one coach. There's no different types of services. Like maybe an airport shuttle link, uh, but I don't see that many airports on this map except for like Frankfurt Airport. I do believe there's maybe one or two other ones, or maybe Frankfurt's the only one. Um, so like you know there be could there be interesting amounts of skill sets that could be potential for this game in terms of like you can do different shuttle service. Maybe private hire could be like a cool thing uh, to add. Uh, I, I don't know what else. Weddings, well, that's still private high, you know what I mean? Like, special events, festivals, you know, I don't know. Stuff like that could be really cool to, like, obviously with your truck and whatnot, you have your skill sets to kind of different types of cargo, like chemicals, uh, high, high value, just in time cargo, and stuff like that. So, just, I'm thinking of what this game could actually potentially if they were looking into doing a like a more advanced skill system than the, what is currently in the game because obviously this is not really like that advanced you're just unlocking times of the day and the the first like the the first drive you do you unlock the the other bus straight away so it's not really that challenging anyway i'm going to skip forward oh no no, it's gonna it's gonna load. It's gonna load. <laughs> I talked enough there, so it, it would actually load in the game. So uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a genius. Anyway, we are in Nuremberg. Oh, there's quite a lot of glare. Jesus Christ. Uh, we're in Nuremberg again. Uh, this is the depot here. Oh my God! Look at these buildings. 
Fantastic. Very nice. Just uh, just every place in like this game is just really pretty. Anyway, we have a bigger coach. Like, look at this. We have like one thing I found like that's a bit annoying is that on this side of the coach, only one of the passenger compartment things open, not both of them, which uh, kind of aggravates me a bit. Because can I open these? That one doesn't open. Okay, that, okay, so, uh, I don't know if this is a bug or something, but there's, like, two, on the, on the smaller coach, there's one, uh, passenger compartment that doesn't open, and on this one, there's two on both sides. I don't know, that, that definitely might need to be something that needs to be fixed. Anyway, let's get into our coach. Let's close this door. There we go. There we go. I do I guess everything is sort of the same in this in this coach to to the smaller one. It's just yeah, look, it's just a longer one. But still very pretty. I like it. Anyway, let's get to the front. Let's turn off this. I don't need that. And let's get the electrics on. And the engine. There we go. Sounds pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Uh, then if we get the destination on and then you can see there 09 to Mannheim and then it has the Heilbronn and the Heidelberg there which is good uh, other than that we can just shuffle through the cameras to kind of get things set up basically Wi-Fi that toilet the horn I I don't know what that is horn we'll just leave that on see We'll put on the AC, uh, we'll put it up because obviously I think we're in winter, I'm not too sure. We'll put it up at a toasty 25 degrees and see if anyone's like complaining about that. And we'll put on the uh, little info bus uh, screen so people can see where we're going. I think that is all good. Fuel, I didn't check the fuel last time in the last video, I do apologise, but we had enough so it wasn't that important. But here we're starting off with a full tank so we'll see if we need any along this uh, journey to Mannheim. Then here nothing really much. Uh, here nothing really much as well, unless it unless our thing gets a bit misty, which currently it's not. So, and then I want to turn on the lights, the low beam lights, so we have the nice illuminated dash. I like that. Other than that, we can we can roll. We we, we really can. Let's get the foot on the brake. Oh, and I forgot to change key. <laughs> There we go. Wait, what? Stop. Did I... Oh, did I forgot to close... Oh, I forgot to close the door. That's why. <laughs> right. Open up. Just quickly have a look on the map where we're currently going. So, we need to take a right, a right... And then just follow basically. So basically, we're going right. Uh, get that off. Let's move forward. Hopefully, the AI is working better today because uh, they now do stop at um, they now do stop at red lights, which is good. Good improvement. <laughs> Very nice. parking brake there on. You can see a police car there in front. I don't know if like um, like emergency vehicles are going to be added to like this police car. I've, I think I've seen some fire brigades. Uh, I don't think I've seen ambulances but I wonder if they're if, if emergency vehicles are going to be like scripted properly into this game so you're going to get like emergency vehicles like you know flying through uh, needing to get to places. That would be like a really interesting thing to see if they uh, if they decide to do for this game. Anyway let's get to it. Oh look at that sun. It does sort of feel uh, winterish, if you know what I mean. Oh my god, look at <laughs> do, I, do I have to pull down the uh, sun blind? I think I might have to. Should I? Uh, what one? Let's see if that does anything. Uh, <laughs> not really. So... Because I don't think the sun's in front of us, but there's a huge amount of glare which is which is nice so I can't really do anything about that 
we'll see once we get out of the sea because maybe the, I don't know if the buildings are influencing this at all but we'll see once we get out of the sea if we can like influence the uh, the sun blind to actually do some you know do its actual job of covering the sun but right now it isn't but it's nice I like it I like it. it's, it's a very kind of a gloomy it feels kind of wintry if you know what I mean you get those kind of like misty kind of hazy kind of days in the winter right if you remember this from the last episode when we actually came up here uh, to Nuremberg, taking this left here and dropping off the passengers. Right. Oh, good. These red lights aren't as long as they were, as I remember in the previous episode. They were so long, and they and they don't stay green for uh, for a very long time. And so far, this is not too bad. This bus doesn't feel any different. I'm not gonna lie. It really, it really doesn't feel any different. Right, uh, everything is set there. Let's open up the doors. There we go. And let's get out and uh, meet the people that will be traveling us uh, with us today to Mannheim. Right, oh, let me get my thing logged in. People were telling me also I need to get in con uh, contact with control. Uh, by you know uh, starting the ride and stuff which I think I did in the first part of the last uh, journey but uh, oh no no we don't want to do that uh, I did that in the last part but I, I didn't uh, I didn't do it in the when we were at Regensburg I didn't do it I think I'm not too sure anyway let's uh, we're not going to start the ride yet because we need to check in the passengers let's open up the passenger uh, baggage compartment so they can stop putting their baggage on right Actually, quite a lot. Ten passengers. That's not too bad. Uh, Lana Narbert, Newbert. Uh, yes, and you want to go to Helbrom? That is good. Thank you. Uh, Ain Lang. Ellen. I thought there was a double R. Uh, yes, you want to go to Heidelberg? That's fine. Welcome aboard. Luna Hillebrand. Uh, yes, welcome aboard. Face me when I talk to you. Joe Ludwig, uh, you're there. Heidelberg, welcome on board. Uh, you are, what, who are you called? James Wendell. Uh, yes, you are on. You want to go to Hailbron Express check-in. There we go. I like that. We unlock that kind of thing, which uh, just, I guess, shows you different kind of ticketing systems or whatever. But you can just press the tick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Angelina Dam, how are you? Uh, Hedelberg, thank you. No one going to Mannheim? Oh, finally, someone. Helena Yost. Welcome on board. Going to Mannheim. Uh, Mina Sh Schrader. You are, yes, you're here. You're going to Helbrom. Welcome on board. Get out of my way. <laughs> right. You. Oh, God. Eamon Bome. Bo Bo uh, yes, Helbrom. Welcome. Was that the guy? Yeah, that was the guy behind him. And Milan Butner. Uh, yes. And Heidelberg. Welcome on board. Good. So we've got everyone on board. Just can walk around the coach. You can see it's 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 exactly the same. It's no, there's nothing different. At some point, I'll do this route, the Stuttgart to Dresden. That's just advertised on this bus. I'll definitely do that. Let's get uh, let's get that closed. Let's go on board. Let's uh, close that as well. Hello, everyone. Welcome on on board today to uh, Mannheim via Helbrom and Heidelberg. I hope you enjoy your journey with us here at Flixbus. Uh, let me just get the PA on. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die Gesetzeslücke. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte. Another accident, because uh, someone didn't give way to the bus. Snack und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser Oh, it's a little bit of a turnaround here, isn't it? Schaut's doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. 
Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen, kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch oh, bei Oh, da again. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board. <laughs> Some light just intensifies it. Favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share. There's a bit of a glitching there with the exterior camera for some reason. Did they fix that? Oh, there's the. Okay, that's a bit of a bug. The PA turns off when you go into external camera. Okay. Bit annoying. I'm not going to redo that again with the PA. Definitely not. Right. Time to exit Nuremberg. Jeez. Oh my god, the turning circle of this. There we go. Let's feel a bit more luggy. It is, it is, a, it is a longer vehicle. We go. Turn left. Very nice. Very smooth. Very sleek. I like it. I'm guessing because also it's winter. I'm guessing that uh, it will get darker quicker. While obviously in the summer it's, it's it's still lighter. AC's too hot. Really? Well, ugh. I need to. I should really map a uh, a button to the AC because. If people are complaining like that, I would. I wish it uh, there is in the in the options in the controls to do it. Might have to do it because people are going to complain about it a little bit too much. But I could, the thing is, I can't do it now while I'm actually driving. I'm speeding. Oh, I am. Oh, oh I was oh, missed it. I was going to actually turn into that petrol station so I could actually, you know, turn down the AC. But should have pre-planned that a bit. Yes, I know the AC is too hot. Forgive me. Please be a red light here. Okay, I'm going to pretend that it's a red light. Oh, no. It is a red light for, for me. There we go. Perfect. And that means we can turn it down a bit. 23 degrees again, because apparently that's probably the, the, best, uh, the best one. The best value. Can we go? Yes, we can. Cool. Back onto the old autobahn. Very nice, very very nice. But yeah, I I'm just I, I'm excited because like just going onto the Flixbus website and actually having a look at all these. There's so many. There's so many of these lines. It's just just like if you guys have this game, or even if you don't, just you know, for, just for curiosity's sake, just go onto the Flixbus website and actually just have a look at the routage and stuff like that. There's so much. And again, talking about how in the future, if they start adding more countries, for example, uh, Fixbus is still going to be, you know, it's going to be a, a useful company to have in the game because they do routes and stuff outside of Germany. And then hopefully they'll start adding maybe some more uh, companies, like maybe Eurolines, you know. Uh, the potential here is re really 60? That feels really slow. Can I can you drive? Okay, I'll drive slower. I'll slow down, and I'll put it on cruise control. Uh, there we go. This is apparently. Well, I think we're driving slightly, slight. Okay, there, there's cruise control. I pressed the wrong button. But um, oh no, now it's now it's a hundred. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the potential, as I keep saying, the potential for this game is is quite. Like, oh, it's so good. I hope that TML really just go 
go in with this game. They just, they, they, they just, you know, they have such a good, uh, let me put cruise control again now. There we go. They have such an opportunity here. Like, they could make the, you know, they could make the Euro Truck American Truck coach equivalent. They really can. You know, they've beaten SCS to it. Let's be honest. Like, SCS could have done this. But they obviously prioritized American Truck, um, you know, and, and updating Euro Truck still. And maybe Euro, I still think Euro Truck, uh, European Coach Simulator is a thing with SCS. But I feel now this is definitely. Did I put. Did I put this cruise control? We have slowed down. I don't know. Yes, maybe. Maybe have I, I don't know. Let me let me speed up a bit here. Let me get up to a hundred, and then I'll reignite the cruise control. I think. I don't know. I think it just went to sleep there for a bit. Now, if I. No, that's not the button. What's the button again? No, it's not that one. Why is it not... Why is it not staying on cruise control? I don't know why. Right. Stay. There we go. Got it. Cool. But yeah, um... European Coach Simulator, I definitely feel, is probably something that could still happen with SES um, if they put enough, you know, time and resource into it. They definitely could, but I feel now with this game, if this game is um, is worked on a bit more and updated heavily and just finished, uh, this I I think this would be inferior. I feel that this engine looks really nice. I I I kind of slightly prefer it to American Truck and Euro Truck's engine, even though that engine is really nice. Don't get me wrong. But this one feels like just oh, just look at the rain graphics. That 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 just look at the previous video when I was driving in the rain. That to me graphically already beats Euro Truck and American Truck by a long shot. But this is nice. Not much traffic here. Taking our passengers to uh, next station is Hellbrom. I do, but Hellbrom. I hope also they keep adding, uh, maybe uh, new countries is a bit of a far, uh, far fetched thing and it's maybe ways off, but if they could keep adding maybe more German cities, because I know there's more, and when I was looking, uh, when I was, oh god I'm driving crazy here, when I was looking at the routes and stuff I was seeing that there's a lot more German cities in between places, like don't get me wrong, they've included the main kind of ones. But when I was looking at certain routes and looking at all the kind of stops in between that these lines do with with Flixbus, I was seeing uh, I was seeing a lot of cities that I'm not seeing in this game, and it would be nice maybe eventually if uh, they were you know included. It would be nice. Now what is happening here? I do oh there's some traffic lights. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start slowing down. Oh can I stay in this left lane? Yes I can. There we go. Oh, it's the policeman. There we go. All this good. Oh! One thing I forgot to do. Oh, did, oh, I did start ride. There we go. Does that mean start ride? What? Start ride. Uh. Okay, I'll just leave it on start ride, I guess. I hope that doesn't interfere with anything. Let's lower down the window a bit to hear the engine. There we go. So far, no problems with the AI, which is uh, a nice thing. Oh, hello. Taking a left here. Wish the sat nav gave me a bit more time to kind of decipher what I have to do instead of getting to the point and realizing, oh, I actually have to, um, <laughs> I actually have to turn left or right. Anyway, off onto the autobahn to places we've not been into this game, so I'm excited. A bit more power. Re-engage the cruise control once we get up to speed. I'm 
for speeding. And I kind of, that was a really bad merge. I apologize that you had to see that. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god. Feels like I'm going fast, but I'm, I don't think I'm, oh my god. <laughs> the suspension's going crazy. Might be a bumpy road. Are we turning up? No, we're not. I think that goes back down south, I do believe. Let's overtake. Very nice. Do you feel like some of my uh, FPS is tanking a little bit? I don't know why. And why, is this, why is this traffic slowing again? Are we merging again with another few lanes? Gonna have to slow down here. Maybe it's the sun. But this is this is annoying, this thing. Like, I put down the blind. Like, I can put down the blind now and actually... Uh, you're oh, now I'm too slow. Okay. <laughs> Make up your mind. I'm either too fast or I'm too slow. <laughs> right, let's get up to speed and get cruise control again locked in. Right, cruise control in. I don't like. Oh god. And there we go again. AI just uh, not respecting my right of way. What can I do? And this 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 haze is just wow. It is blinding. Is that a word? See if I take it up, it actually it it's better than actually having it down, which is a bit annoying. up to speed now. Again, these ridiculous, I don't know why these things are there, those those, those white markings that make you, oh, <laughs> it's good that I was in the right lane there. Alright. Turn off the indicator. Steering misbehavior for what? But I've, oh god, I shouldn't be in this inner lane. I should be in the outer lane. I'm driving like I'm driving in a car. Oh my god! And here we get more, <laughs> more glare. I do apologize for the glare. Like I can't do anything. The weather's being like this. I wish it would actually just now cover up with cloud and actually rain, but. It doesn't want to do that. And the fact that if I put down this doesn't really do anything. It actually makes it worse. Which is kind of funny. Right, can I... Oh god, another one of these things. I have to, uh, like, what? To me, this feels much more dangerous than if it wasn't there. Right. Very nice. Maybe I should just stick in the slow lane, you know. Because everything... Can I... Can I merge... Oh, God. Can I merge in? I'm going to merge in. Thank you. And I'm going to... Cruise control it now. And just kind of keep... Match my speed with this lorry in front. Right, look at that guy. That's realistic. You get those kind of plonkers that... Uh, just overtaking the middle lane, or even undertaking the uh, in the uh, slow lane, and that van over there, that lorry should. Oh god, this guy's slowing down. You need to like, like you have those kind of lorries and stuff that shouldn't really be in the overtaking lane, but it's crazy. Sometimes when I've been driving on the motorway, I see these. Uh, I see these lorries that. Um oh good, I thought I thought this would be a double lane coming off, but it's not. That's nice. Oh, another resting area. We still haven't been in a resting area. Probably during this journey, we're probably going to have to go to a resting area. So we shall, we shall see. 
I, w I, I really wish the sunblind worked, but it just doesn't. And then it, constri uh, then it constricts my view of the side mirrors. I can't actually see backwards. Now, what is happening here? I see... Is that crosswind? No, 120 is allowed, and we might have some queuing. Does that make sense? The current speed limit's 100, and... It's giving me warnings that there's going to be queues, but you can go 120. That's like in the UK if um, there was, like, you're driving along at, like, I don't know, maybe 60 is the limit or something like that. And then, it's, and then it says, oh, caution queues, but you can drive at 70 miles per hour. I think that would be a little bit absurd, a bit crazy. any speed I don't think there's speed cameras in this game I'm not too sure but I, I don't know I, I haven't I haven't haven't gone through one yet that's given me any kind of problems or anything like that so uh, you know but wow look at this Sun like it's nice don't get me wrong it's very pretty to look at this is fantastic like it's like that like there are days where you drive and that you get this kind of glare on the road like, and it's simulated really nicely it does get a bit annoying, and it's, you know, in the real life it does get a bit annoying. Let me put that on cruise control. But I'm going to have to... Oh, no, that's good. They're moving faster. I don't want to... I hate that having... I'm going, like, slightly faster than them. Ooh. Look at that. That's very pretty. It's a lake or something. I like this kind of invisible, is this invis like invisible fencing, it's like plastic shielding or something like that? Or noise dampening? And here, what, what does that mean? That's no overtaking? Oh yeah, because we're going into a tunnel. Ah. Ah. Oh, let me, should I turn on my lights? My lights are on right now, at full beam, but, okay, this might be another issue. Li I, I feel like in the daytime, your lights don't work, even, like, say right now it's daytime, but my lights aren't actually working in tunnels, which is a bit annoying, a bit frustrating there, because that was just like going through like a really weird dark tunnel, and my lights were on, but they weren't actually registering and actually giving me light. <laughs> Annoyingly. Alright, get a bit more cruise control on. I do believe another thing that they're going to be adding... Uh, oh god, I need to slow down here because I think there's a pull-off point here. Another thing they're going to be adding to uh, the cab is a, a radio, I think? I think a radio. So a bit something like the Euro Trucks kind of radio player where you can play your own music or you can actually play an actual radio in the cab, which um, I think is very nice. Oh, we're going to have to do two overtakes here. And someone... Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it wasn't going to be a crash-free video. <laughs> right. Another bit of cruise control. I like it. Let me see if I can get into, uh, oh god, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Just qu do a quick bit of cheeky in-cab driving. I'm not going to be on this one too long because this is, this is suicide. As I said, it's suicide. <laughs> Why did, <laughs> it's one of those stupid markers on the floor again. Just like, Budging in traffic, verging it to the to the right for no reason, then going back to left. Oh, did I see a sign for Hailbron? Let's close the uh, window now. Let's just have a bit of quiet. But yeah, uh, we're not going to be doing any in in um, <coughs> in passenger view driving anytime soon. <laughs> I should have looked at my window there. There's nothing coming. I'm good. There we go. Whew. Well, could have been worse. 
I think we uh, just about scrapped that off. Alright, taking right here. Power, please. Takes a bit of time for the engine to re-engage a bit, and we're we're clear on the left. That's good. And national speed limit, which is seventy. Okay. I don't, I don't think anyone's told me in the comments down below what the actual speed limit is for uh, for Germany. <clears throat> I think it's uh, is it a hundred, hundred kilometers per hour? I think. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I think we are in Hailbron, Hailbrum. However you want to say it, and the glare has gone, thankfully. Right. There we go. Let's pull up the blinds so we can have a look at the traffic lights. All is well. Oh, I didn't see that actually previously, the little dangling cube. <laughs> what if you're going to get accessory pack DLCs like a bit like Eurotrap where you can have in cab accessories? <laughs> that would be, it would be fun. It would be fun though. How's everyone doing? All good? Approaching Kaelbrom. Uh, there we go. Anything to our right? No, we're good. It's kind of, I feel like it's getting a little bit darker, isn't it? It feels kind of a bit more gloomier. You know what, I think when we come back out of Hailbrim, we'll stop up at this petrol station. I want to see how, uh, how it, how, how it, like, what, what happens when you do to it. I'd probably, probably be alright for petrol, but I still want to do it because I just want, I just want to see what happens. But I do believe at some point, oh god, I'm not in the right lane. Damn. Because right now, if I, if I, oh god, we're going to have to remerge here. Is there anything? Yeah, everything's coming now when I want to merge in. That's good. Can I... I'll slip in there nicely. There we go. Perfect. And you can see also the trees are like more browned because obviously it's just past autumn now, I guess. And I need to take a left here. Herbrum looks very nice. Looks, it looks very similar to Nuremberg. <laughs> but I guess most uh, most um, uh, German cities are pretty much the same. Obviously, but the, there's the standout ones, and then there's like these little ones where there's not much going on here. Like this kind of feels here the same kind of way that you would go into Nuremberg's bus station a bit. Like, it's very, very, oh yeah, very similar. Look at this. Look at this. This is cheeky. This is very cheeky. Look at this. This is the exact same. Yeah, this is the exact same kind of thing. Oh, that is cheeky. That's lazy. I, okay, I, I have to, this is, this is a bad point now. This is the exact same, exactly same routed kind of way into a bus station, into this city, as uh, as we did in uh, as we did in Nuremberg, so I'm a little bit disappointed there. I'm gonna also turn off the engine to kind of allow passengers off and whatnot. Right. Is that the air conditioning? Right, I'm guessing. Right, everyone's off. Gonna open up the. Uh, Baggage compartments if anyone needs it from the back here. Everyone should be walking off. And that's all good. But um, I'm going to leave it here for this episode of this uh, journey to Mannheim. We've come to Heilbrom. We still have to go to uh, Heilenburg. Heilen Heilen if I actually read it on the destination display. 
Uh, we still need to go to Heidel Heidelberg, that's it. Heidelberg, and I do believe that's actually really close. So the next episode, we're going to do Heidelberg and Man Mannheim together. It was just this uh, uh, distance between um, Nuremberg and uh, Helbrom that was the distance. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, uh, this part of the journey. And I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I like that now I can look at the Flixbus website and actually gather some uh, actual real-life routage. And uh, I hope you guys, like, may maybe if you guys actually go onto Flixbus's website and actually look at some of the routes on the route map, uh, maybe tell me which ones you want me to do. And I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can. I'll, I'll try and, you know, get through most of them of, like, what available cities are there in the actual game. Uh, I just think it will just add a bit more like like a bit of immersion to the actual series So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I did I definitely did I really really enjoyed it And I can't wait to continue to Mannheim, but I'll see you guys in that next episode The shout outs again for this episode go to awesome donkey and game over that's again awesome donkey and game over The links and stuff will be down below. Please do show them some love I will see you guys in that next part to uh, Mannheim. This was uh, Nuremberg to uh Hail Brom. See you next time guys. Take care. Have a lovely day. We ain't never given up cause we